Good morning, Patriots. JT here. Serenity Farms prepping with the inevitable CBDC and bank bail-ins ramifications part two. So part one discussed how the banks will shut down bail themselves in, steal all your money, and then the Democrats and the globalists will institute the beast system. I stated that I will be turning down that generous offer. <laughs> I laugh now. So, for everyone who is stating, like me, that they are going to refuse to join the beast system, here's what is going to happen to us. I'll have no income. I can grow all my own vegetables. I got all my chickens. I got many years worth of uh, storable food. I own my own home. I own my vehicles. I have virtually no bills. What couple bills I do have are on very insignificant things and if they cut off my sources of income and those people want what they say I owe on, come get it. That takes care of that issue. Here's where they're going to get a large majority of people who say they're going to refuse to join the system. We still have property taxes and school taxes. Matter of fact, I just sent out a check today for my property taxes for the year. December, I sent out the check for my school taxes for the year. Combined, I'm about $2,500. Not bad. But when you have zero income, that's a lot of money. So what happens when I can't pay my property taxes or my school taxes? Are they going to garnish the wages I don't have? No. What's option two? Seize my property. Can I sell things? I can sell things, but I cannot accept payment. Everything will be digital. I could sell eggs. I could sell vegetables. I could sell uh, beef. Things I, I can't sell anything. No one can pay me. They can trade me or barter me some stuff, but that doesn't pay my property or school taxes does it so how many people that own their homes I'm not talking about people who have mortgage payments who think they own their homes because you don't own your home realistically I don't even own my home because I have to pay property taxes which I shouldn't no one should have to when your house is paid off which mine was from day one I paid for my home in cash. I built it with cash. And they will seize it because I can't pay $800 in property taxes. Now for the folks who have existing mortgages, if they refuse to join the system, their homes will also be taken. There's plenty of illegals that need places to stay. 
You're not going to be allowed to live in it because you wouldn't join the system. But they'll be more than happy to put up people who are obeying. So where do you go? What are we going to be offered if they're going to confiscate our homes and our vehicles? Because what good is my vehicle going to be? I'm not going to be able to buy gas anyway. So for a while, I will be on this property. And if someone gives me rides, I can go somewhere. Nobody's going to buy me gas because they're going to be rationed very severely on their gas because they can't go above their carbon footprint or they'll lose some of their UBI. So you see how the, the system is being manipulated to turn the screw on everybody as tightly as they can. So... The decision that I have is they'll probably notify me that I'm due back property taxes. They know I'm not part of the system. They know I'm not going to be able to pay, but they'll file the proper paperwork. When I throw it in a wood stove, at some point, I know they're going to send someone here. The first visit will probably be a friendly reminder that I'm due money and do I have any way to pay or they will seize my property. The next visit won't be friendly. They're not going to let me stay here. They're not going to let you stay in your home. If you've refused to join the system because you will also have no income. Are they going to offer you somewhere to go? No. If you're refusing to be part of their system, you cannot contribute to their system. So they are not going to offer you a place to go. You know what they're going to offer us. Do you want it looking at me or do you want it turned away? So I have a place that I can go to. If I run out of every option. Okay. Now there's the option of. Getting someone who. Is in the system. To live on your property. But. Will they be allowed to pay your property taxes if they even have a UBI that's big enough? We don't know how it's going to work. If you don't spend your allowance every month, what happens to the leftover? They're not going to let people build up an abundance of CBDC. They can take it at any time. See where it's all going? Once this is implemented, do you see what is going to happen? So I can't have two or three people that are part of the system move in here because they won't be allowed to pay my taxes under my name with their CBDC. They're not going to allow it. So they will come. So do I wait around and 
be JT's last stand? Do I go to my bug out location? Which eventually they'll find me anyway. But don't know how long that'll be. But what was it Obama said? When he had his drone system? And you'll never see it coming. And he laughs. After he'd already murdered a couple Americans, right? So. You see the dilemma that many of us are going to be facing? The majority of people who refuse the initial entry into the system will succumb. They either have a wife, a wife and children. They're not going to sit and watch them die. I wish that it wasn't going to get this bad. But do the math. Realistically, look at the scenario of what happens when someone's controlling your money or as Catherine Austin Fitz said in the video, the money and they're controlling the food and the energy as well. Okay, I don't need energy here. I have all my own energy. I have all my own food. Not going to be able to pay those taxes. They are not going to allow those of us who refuse to live in our own homes. They don't want us around anyway. We are a threat to the system. So something to think about. Because by this time next year, we're probably not having this conversation. Maybe, maybe there's a lot of stuff going on right now, as we know, with DocuGate and Democrats throwing pedo under the bus, which was the plan all along. They don't want Kama Ho as president. They know a, she can't handle it. She was never picked for that reason. And they know, at least maybe they're thinking, that the Republicans would impeach her. Does that move McCarthy up? I, I, there's a chance. Hmm. But there's always a chance. But there is that hope that a lot of things are going to happen in the next two or three months that maybe, just maybe... Certain people get in certain positions and the scenario I just described doesn't happen. Now let's talk about the patriot side of the discussion where millions of people have swallowed and are following what I believe is a PSYOP on that letter in the alphabet thing. They're talking about a quantum financial system that's going to be brought in, a QFS. It's digital currency. Okay? not controlled by the deep state and the globalists or the Democrats that we know of, but it's still going to be a digital currency system, which means someone still has the ability at any time to push a button and you got nothing. Zero. Zip. Nada. Now, 
that, see, if there was that white hat movement, they also know that the country is literally broke, as in financially kaput. There's no way to ever repay the debt that this country has intentionally jacked up and they're hoping to do again. Democrats want no ceiling on the debt limit because they know the system is crashing and the sooner they can do it, the better. Now, I also published a couple videos, Project Sandman, where all the countries in the desert, Saudi Arabia, blah, 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 that were basically extorted in 1944 to join the petrodollar system for America protecting them. They have said, we don't need you anymore or your worthless, useless petrodollar. So we're accepting any denominations specifically and only if they are gold or silver backed. Russia, China, and Iran are bringing out digital currencies that will be backed by gold. The U.S. is going to be left high and dry. No one will be buying anything from the U.S. based on the dollar. They have the U.S. right where they want them. The U.S. Democrats and globalists played into that. Don't make any misgivings that the Democrats are doing what they're doing and the central bank because they're worried about the country. No. They sold us out to China long ago. And this is part of the plan to collapse us. Then we are ripe for invasion, attack, whatever. So, we are screwed. All right? All we can hope for is some, the dollar is collapsing regardless of who's in charge. When there's no money, there's no money. There's no way to spin that. <laughs> if you have zero, you have zero. Now, a lot of that 31 trillion plus in national debt is owned by other countries. And if the U.S. thinks they're going to collapse the entire system and screw their debtors, or our debtors, out of their money owed, they got another thing coming. They're not going to allow that to happen. So how are they going to pay off their debts? The ground you walk on is very likely not owned by... The United States. People need to finally hit themselves in the head and realize the total. I can't swear anymore on YouTube because they instituted it. They don't tell you what the words are, but you can't use them. They don't. People need to realize how totally effed up we are. What a, at this time, unwinnable situation we are in. If you know the way out of it, feel free to share it with me because I'm looking and I don't see it. The only, now remember, even if Trump got back in tomorrow, Still plenty of rhinos, plenty of deep staters, plenty of anti-Trumpers within the regime. They're going to fight everything he does. But the bottom line is, there's no food 
Told you many times, there's no food for next year, the year after, the year after, the year, for the foreseeable future. There's no fuel. There's no heat. How does that all get fixed tomorrow? Spoiler alert. It doesn't. How does that get fixed within six months? It doesn't. There's no magical food printing machine. There's no magical gasoline, oil, diesel, natural gas, and propane making machine. And those other countries still want their money. And we're still going to be going under a digital currency system. Now, it might not be tyrants, but there's still no food. You kind of need that. All right. Didn't want to go this long, but had to let you hear how I think it goes when the CB... DC is fully implemented and get you to start thinking about options. And if you have any, feel free to share them in the comments, please. Whew. Stay strong, folks. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now... JT, signing off.